Hey guys, are you ready to get testing? Well, I know I am. Gum out, multi-system tune-up, and seafoam automotive, marine, or fleet treatment. Both claims to clean carbs, injectors, moisture and fuel, noisy lifters, cleans deposits, and lubricates the fuel. Lube upper cylinders, de-ice, anti-gel, so also cleans carbon deposits well i got something really cool in store for you guys today this engine has never been started before so we're going to get to see what the inside of an engine looks like if you use a fuel cleaner from the very get-go so i'm definitely excited to show you guys that this guy's never had any fuel added to it before we have our seafoam motor treatment so We'll just go ahead, open that right up. And you can see the seal's never been broken. There we go. Now, what does our instruction say? Directions for regular fuel system maintenance add one ounce per gallon. When a greater cleaning concentration is needed, use two or more ounces per gallon. So, Let's go ahead and add what little bit this holds. We'll go ahead and give it a two ounces. Even though it doesn't hold a gallon, so it's going to be a higher concentration, just like Seafoam recommends. We've added our Seafoam to the fuel. It's time to go ahead and add our gasoline. Now we're going to go ahead, give it three pushes, and next we're going to engage the mower just like this as we start it. Then we're going to pull the rope and give this engine its very first start. So I'm definitely excited to see this. So I always thought if I used an additive when the vehicle or engine was first purchased, what would this do? Would this keep the carbon completely clean? Well, I guess we're going to find out. Well guys, I'm ready to get wrenching. So, I'm gonna go ahead and start this guy up. Engage the mower. Now, I'm gonna pull the starter rope. It's very clean. So, as you guys can see, the spark plug is very clean brand new spark plug so i'm ready to see does this stuff work can it actually keep it clean so guys as you can see i run into a little bit of a problem with this new mower hopefully we can continue on because i'm not giving up as you can see right here i've grounded it to the heat shield of the exhaust and that's the ground for the spark plug that i have to test and then you can see I have it all hooked up, plugged in, the original plug still in. It's not starting, so we're going to make sure we're getting a spark. Okay, guys, now for this, I'm going to be lowering the light. This way, it'll make it easier for you guys to see. Watch closely as I crank. You can see the spark on this spark plug. You've seen the spark all i had to do is take a piece of wire wrap it around the threads of the spark plug take the other end of the wire and bind a solid ground which is just something that's metal a surface that is not painted all right guys as you can see i had to use some engine starting fluid to get this engine to fire up it is pretty cold outside so i had to use a method to get this guy started 
We'll give it just a moment to warm up and we'll check the exhaust temperature of the engine. All right, guys, let's go in for a closer look and check out the exhaust. Let's see if there's any visible exhaust smoke that we can see. I'm not seeing any exhaust smoke. Let's check out the temperature. Have about 300 degrees Fahrenheit on the exhaust. Now we'll continue to run out all the sea foam. Will this keep the engine completely clean? Well, I'm definitely excited to find out. Also, we're going to check out the compression. We're going to keep compression on this engine and find out if the compression actually stays exactly what it is originally from the manufacturer. Seafoam also claims to lubricate. So guys, make sure you check out the links below because I'm definitely going to show you guys what was used in this video. If you want to find out more information on Seafoam or any other products like the Borescope, they're pretty cool. They have a little light on the end, an LED light. You can get them. They're very affordable. You don't have to have a really high-end Borescope. I have one of those also, but I'll be using one. It's very inexpensive, probably about 10 bucks. You may even find one lesser. So I'll include that in the link below. It can be used for a laptop, PC, also Android phones or Galaxy phones, old or new, made within the last six, seven years. Even the new S8, S9s, Apple or Android, as I said. Well, without further ado, let's go ahead, dive right in. Break that loose there. Whew, it's already getting cold that time of year. Now, let's go ahead, check out the spark plug first. So, as you can see, we have the spark plug. Looks perfectly clean. So far, so good. So, let's go ahead, get this guy hooked up. For our compression test, found one that fits well. Now, let's go ahead and hook up our compression gauge. Like I said, this will come in very handy later on because we're going to find out what actually works. And does this actually lubricate it? See, this is actually something that I don't really hear a lot of people talking about because this is one of the key functions of your engine and that's what wears down the most over time really and if you can take care of this issue then you can handle just about any other problem because any other problem would be small in comparison better engine performance functionality and it's just going to last a lot longer and cost you a lot less money Now guys, let's go ahead and give her a few cranks. Okay guys, and you can see it right there, just below 60, or we'll have to come back and do it again when it's a cold engine. So let's go ahead and move on to the next test. Well y'all, here at the Nate's Interactive Auto Community, I love for you guys to share your information or knowledge and experience using these products so please let everyone know what experience you have with these products so 
let's get into the results show you guys did this keep the engine clean on the inside here we are moving through the spark plug hole towards the top of the piston going to move around the cylinder you can see the definition and the numbers atop the piston completely clear it does seem to have some sort of lubricating effect and so far it's perfectly clean without any carbon buildup yes this is a brand new engine but the seafoam was used make sure to let me know what you guys think how well do you think this done you think it helped the engine from what I've seen in the past these guys accumulate a lot of carbon easily well once again make sure you drop a comment below let me know what you thought about this and what we can do in the future I have some gaskets and so forth on the way they were on back order slow things down a bit any test you want to see when we take this engine apart and as always make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you want to see your video idea posted next and thank you guys for watching